Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. More than a year later, a family is still looking for answers. I am announcing a $100,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and su successful conviction of Megan's killer. Megan Lynn Drumhiller was found dead in January of 2022 during a wellness check. At a press conference this morning, the Saginaw County Sheriff's Office discussed new evidence that points towards homicide as a cause of Megan's death. In attendance, along with authorities, were members of Megan's immediate family and family attorney. Now, anyone with information, please contact police. We will have much more on this developing story on TV5 News at 5. Well, Flushing Township Police asking you to be on the lookout for this man on your screen right there. 44-year-old Jeremy Lee Edenburn. He was wanted, he's wanted for questioning in a homicide. He was last seen driving a black Cadillac XTS. If you spot him, please call 911 right away. New details over the surprise cancellation of Auburn's Corn Fest. In a statement, Mayor Kilborn said that circumstances surrounding the property being rented out ultimately led to that cancellation. Due to the events at last year's concert and the increase in active shooters among large outdoor festivals, the organizers had to turn in a completed application by the last planning and zoning meeting that was on May 16th. Well, that requirement was not met. For more information on the story, head on over to WNEM.com. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Clint. For this Thursday, we're still seeing some poorer air quality at this lunch hour, especially into our northern counties. But as we progress through the rest of today, we'll start to see that smoke clearing out of here towards the north. And by your Friday, we'll actually just be looking at some normal air quality once again. High temperatures for today, a little bit cooler than yesterday, only by a few degrees. Lower to middle 80s, those warmest temperatures still in our western row of counties. And we are expecting some showers hours across the thumb as we go into our Friday afternoon and evening, eventually coming to an end by Friday night. Saturday's rain chance is still very minimal. Then it's late on Sunday in the afternoon and the evening. Also in the Monday where we see our next round of rain returning and that'll be a better chance for everybody in mid Michigan could see some scattered showers really holding for much of the day on Monday. So we're keeping an eye on that. Certainly some much needed rainfall for mid Michigan. It's also looking to be a very warm weekend too. 87 for Saturday and Sunday dew points going up too. So it is going to feel muggy with dew points in the lower to middle 60s after the muggy and warm weekend though with the rain it cools us back down next week. At least the first half of the week temperatures maintain the middle to upper 70s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.